I think it's live. And it should be paused on the letter E. And I'm hoping that that's... Hmm. Why does this seem very, very quiet now? Did it like lower my volume way, way down? If I go like this, is this going to be... That seems to be about right, right? What was that? No, that was at 4.7, I think. Okay. I'm going to try to unpause it here in a second. I need you to let me know if this is like ear shatteringly loud. I will buy you new speakers if it if it breaks them. Like is this am, am I able to be heard over what whatever's going on right now? Okay, cool. Good. I can't hear myself over my own headphones, but that's fine. <laughs> I'll be deaf IRL, but... Okay! Oh, this is a slight problem, though, isn't it? Hmm. Hold on a moment. Oh, dear. Yes, that is going to be a problem. What happens if we... Oh dear. If I... If I go like this, and I go like this, and I go... And I say I want you to center on screen. There's probably some small black border. Where's the chat think it lives? Chat thinks it lives over there. So chat's going to move over to here. So if I do this... Okay, that should be fine then. I can now see chat, and I can see the game. Everything's running fine. Christ, I don't have any controls though. That's... that's a problem. God, Lord Almighty, getting this set up is a pain. No, no, no. Why can't I access my controls? Do I have to like click into you? No. Why is it not? Do I have to be running? Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> I have to be running DS4 for this to work, because it doesn't like the PlayStation 4 controller. Alright, that's fine. So we'll do that. We'll get a little bit of a stutter while that figures itself out. No, that's, that's still not working. Okay, settings. Controllers. Xbox 360 controller. Apply. Set all up. Down, um, that, 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 okay, apply, there we go, and we're off. And 
hopefully this should all control and play and everything fine. I've done one full playthrough on this setup already. So in theory it should be working just fine, but... I don't like that, so I do need to fix that. Um, we are going to change some controls here real quick. Because I want this on here and this on here. Oh god. Oh god. Remapping controls without the game pause. That's a, that's a good idea. Alright, there we go. Now everything's on the buttons I'm expecting it to be. Ta-da! Morph ball. Good. And I can use D-pad or analog stick. Very good. Okay, I need I bombs for that. I should be able to get through this reasonably quickly. I think my last full playthrough this only took like two and a half hours. So I'm hoping I can just do this in one like solid sitting. Yes. Alright. Through here. We'll hit some save points just in case there's any technical hiccups. Like I'm not going for a you know, world record speed run or anything here. Up we go. We should be able to get the, I think it's the long beam is the next upgrade? Only appearance of the long beam in the series, I believe. Oh god. And through here. And... Yeah, okay, those guys are out of range. Give me the long beam. Very good. Fire long distance shot. Beam, L and B to fire diagonally. Oh, you know what? Does this give me the map marker? If it gives me map markers, I'll take it. This is this game had the handy little like target map marker feature when you get an upgrade. Hmm. Oh, can't get up to that yet. And through here and up. Oh boy. Up. Continue along this way. Hmm. I don't have ledge grab yet. So I've got to be a little careful. Don't get sloppy. Okay, this is just showing me the bosses I need to defeat to open up the way to Turian. Alright, head through here. For a bit of backstory info, I guess, on what uh, version this is and everything. Oh god! That was... that was scary. <laughs> um, playing this on emulator, uh, Zero Mission, Game Boy Advance remake of the original NES Metroid. NES Metroid released in 1986, and Zero Mission was, I believe, 2004 or 5. I don't remember specifically which, which year it was. The couple of years after Fusion. Uh, it's pretty accurate to the original Metroid. Obviously, a bit easier. They've toned down some of the enemy damage and some of the more ridiculous, uh, tedious backtracking that you used to have to do. Uh, adds a little bit of extra story at the end, some cutscenes, some fun extra stuff. And at these days, if you're just looking for like the story, the general playthrough of the series, 
you can kind of just skip the NES one and use this instead, which is what I'm going to be doing. My plan is... Uh, I'm doing all of the numbered Metroid games. So one through four. Uh, and then once I finish those, I'm going to go back and do the Prime series, which some people consider non-canon. I, I don't really understand why, but... I know some people think that it's it's not part of the main canon series, so I'm going to pull that off on the side and do it at the end. It would technically fit in in between this and Metroid 2. Uh, for Metroid 2, there's a couple options available to me. I could play the original on the Game Boy, which I don't really enjoy. Uh, there's also a fan-made remake called AM2R, which is quite good. Uh, basically remade, uh, okay, hold up, hold up this um, uh oh, that's a problem, that's lame, I wasted my missiles, now I can't get the early kill on this guy, if you save your missiles, if, you, if you're quick with that, you can actually kill this boss here instead of having to fight him again in the later room, but, I wasted a missile. And didn't have enough left to do it. Oh well. That's what happens when I don't remember all the specific mechanics of it. Yeah, I could either do the fan remake, uh, where they built a, a custom game engine, more or less based on the Super Metroid engine. Uh, physics and gameplay mechanics and whatever. Kind of just rebuilt Metroid 2 in that. Uh, or I have the emulated version of the official remake, which was released on the 3DS uh, a few years ago, uh, which is Metroid Samus Returns. I do have that up and up and running on this computer too, so I'll probably use that one just to stick with the kind of official versions of the games. Although I would say I think I prefer AM2R over uh, Samus Returns as far as the general gameplay goes. Oh. No, no, no. Ah. Metroid 3, there's only one version. We've got uh, the Super Nintendo Super Metroid. That is the only version there's ever been, sadly. And then Metroid 4, it is Fusion. Again, only one version. That's the most recent one in the mainline series, though. Not terribly surprising there haven't been any remakes of that. And then on October 8th, we get Metroid 5. Okay. Don't have bombs yet. Gotta keep looking. Oh, this is where we fight the... the worm. Round 2... This time, he will, he will drop some spikes that we can shoot to get some more missiles if we run out. Wow. There we go. Get our charge beam back. First energy tank. God. And a nice dip in the lava. And again. Keep on running and we should be getting bombs pretty soon. I think it's actually... Ah, oh, no, this is the map room, not the bomb room. I think it should be coming up very shortly here, because it's we're going to need that to get pretty much anywhere. These are all just kind of your basic... Every Metroid game has some standard upgrades, with the exception of Longbeam, because it's the only game that starts you out unable to shoot full screen length.
for all of about, I don't know, two minutes. Oh god. Alright, grab this. Grab that. Keep heading this way. And yeah, this is gonna be bombs here. Roll on through. Up we go. Take a look. This should give me an updated objective marker. No, it doesn't. Wow. And a little optional side area you can get into. Test if you know how to do bomb jumps. If you know how to do bomb jumps, you get yourself a free missile tank. Ta da! Away we go. That was some very, very basic bomb jumps. So if, we, if, you, if you're quite good with that, you can pretty much access any vertical distance area in the game now. Because you can just do this. Just bounce yourself up. I'm bad at it. There you go. But yeah, you can get some decent height on that. If you, if you know the timing of it really well, you can... Just keep climbing forever. Ascend into the heavens. Um, where to next? With bombs, we could backtrack to a couple areas. So we've seen a few spots already that needed bombs to get into. Um, it looks like that might be the best option for now. So, uh, we'll start heading... I remember there was one right in the very, very beginning of the game that we can go back to. I think it'll also... oh, Lord. Make a bit of sense to... No, no, no. Investigate this little side path on the way here, which I believe is just the... Oh, it's not the path on the Norian. I thought this was the path on the Norian. Norfair. Norian. Getting ahead of myself there. That's Metroid Prime 3. This will be the last game I play. I'm also planning on skipping Other M entirely, so uh, if anyone starts watching this and decides they were like, oh man, I'm really looking forward to Other M, that's, that's fine. You keep looking forward to it. I am really curious to see if Nintendo acknowledges the existence of Other M, like, at all, in uh, Metroid 5. on, heading up. Is there just no point to that path? Does that does that exist just to give you a, a map pointer on which way to go forward? That's so silly. Kill it. Kill it. Oh, wait, don't kill it, just go this way. Alright, never mind. Is there a way through there? No? Alright. Looks like there'd be a way through there, but apparently not. And into here... I think we can actually get all the way up this now. Yeah, we should be able to get all the way up this. Um, wait for him. Let's see where this leads us. Okay, because of bombs, I can get into this. I don't know if there's a correct path here. 
there was, and it was the top one. Good. Uh, kill you. Oh, without the ledge grab, that's going to be a little tougher, but... I am so bad at these. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, I had it! There we go. Really? God damn it. All of that for nothing. Oh, that's gonna suck. Okay, there's a way to do this. No? Oh, god damn it. Alright, I'm gonna try this one more time. If I miss this, I'll just come back when I have the, the kind of correct upgrade here. I actually don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do anything when I get up there. This could just be a dead end, but... I like seeing if I can get into weird little side areas like this early. Uh, no. Yeah, you know what? Screw that. Not wasting any more time on that. Probably could get up there. Don't know if there's anything worth it. Um, you're really supposed to be coming back to that after you have, like, high jump. Um, which isn't even that far into the game, so... Whatever I'd be skipping my way ahead to isn't that important. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Well, this was a mistake. Right. I could do that if I wanted to try to do horizontal bomb jumping, but I don't want to do that. That's a pain in the ass. So we're just gonna head on back then. We got a free missile tank. That'll be nice. Roll back on through here. And I think it is on down to Norfair. Yeah, this is for Ice Beam. We could use Ice Beam to get up through there. Um, anything else worth grabbing right now? Not really. We'll just head on down to Norfair. Bomb um, that, roll on through. I should probably farm some enemies for some health, but nah. I believe during the elevators we're going to get some nice little cutscenes here. Introduction of our main enemy.
And... Yeah, there we go. Pop through that. Which way is the correct start? I think you can get some stuff to the left here. Missile tank. Through here. Over to this. And what do we have here? Is this the way back up to Crateria that gets me ledge grab? Yes. Yes, it is. Ledge grab now, absolutely worth getting. Just gotta find the path that leads me to it. Does it want me to have high jump first? No, okay, you don't need high jump. You can just go around this way. That's fine. And up here, down here. This is another one of the little added things in this game, or the remake of this game. Chozo ruins and high jump and all this wasn't in the original NES version. Alright. Give me a heal. Thank you. And free missile tanks. There we go. Okay. Bomb that to get up there. I was like, I know you can't get stuck, so... Whatever I'm doing, I'm just missing something. Good lordy. Okay. Out of here, up onto the surface. Can I wall jump yet? Badly. I can poorly wall jump. Ah. Okay, there's a power bomb door up there. I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. There is. Oh god. Well, that was a waste. Missile tank there that I probably could have got if I hadn't fallen through the floor. Power bomb door. Keep heading this way. Alright, back to the start then. And this will be the bomb wall through here. Let's go grab our ledge grab and get the heck out of here. Yep, 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 yep. I hate this room because it's so hard to see what is like an, a, a spot you can pass through and what isn't. There we go. The power grip. Hang from ledges and corners. So now if we just miss a jump, you grab onto it, press a button to pull yourself up. Opens up a lot of areas that we would have been stuck out of otherwise. Uh, 
and makes it slightly more forgiving if you miss a jump. And I believe this is going to take me to my ship. Yep, there it is. So from here, should be able to just head on right back underground. And this should lead me to the elevator that you started the game on. I actually get to see how you got to the start of the game from your ship. Okay, we're gonna head... Oof. Which way? Here and up? Yeah. That was a mistake. And up to here. I know there's a spot where I can fall, like, much farther down in this. To get to, like, the lower part of this... Uh, left hand branch. It might have been back in the last room we were in. Yeah, this little side room here. I think there's a spot that I can bomb the floor out. Could also be mistaken. Alright, that's fine. Let's just head on back, head to the right hand branch. I don't think we're going to be visiting the boss on our first trip through Norfair, but we might... Yeah, no, definitely won't. Oh, and I also... I know where I'm thinking of. I'm not thinking of Norfair. I'm thinking of the next area that I can go to the left and then bomb out the floor. Yes, 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 yes. Through here, up, up, up. down, around, and through this way. I don't know what they give me in this area that lets me get to the next area. Is it high jump? Oh, for the love of God. Get up there. Also gotta be a little careful. Some of these doors in this area can open into, like, high-intensity heat areas. And I don't have a way to prevent the damage from that. So if I walk into a room, there's a chance I just catch on fire. There we go. That's bad. That's very bad. Uh-oh. Oh, no! <laughs> Right, try that again. Now, oh, you know what part of it was? I sat there bumping into this guy for so long. All right. Also, I feel like I'm missing an upgrade that I'm supposed to have. Yeah, well, this isn't where I want to be.
Oh, this is a problem. And I'm dead again. Nice. What the hell? <laughs> go from here. I feel like I'm missing something very obvious. Is it just down? Am I just supposed to be going? No, that's the speed boost. Well, that's annoying. What am I supposed to be doing here? Is it? Oh, it's like that. Duh. Okay. Massively overthinking that. Ice beam. Very good. I know I'd seen at least one spot I can go use that right away. Okay, so it wants me to head straight to the first boss. That is fine. Oh, dang it. Did I freeze them too far back? I did. Oh, lame. I did it again! Alright, and is there a point to freezing you? I guess it'll make it easier to dodge you. Wait, it says there's an item upgrade in there. Where is it? Where are you hiding this item? Oh, wait, I bet you I know where it is. It's gonna be that block right there. And you're supposed to do this, and then that. down. And around 
around here. I'm not gonna do any of the dumb nonsense you need to do to get that. No. Don't wanna try it. Yeah, okay, we got it. That was actually pretty easy. I think I found a much more complicated way to do that the last time I played that ended up being a real pain in the ass. And jump up here. We gotta get back to the main elevator. Kinda head to the top of the central shaft up on uh, Rinstar and then take that over to Kraid. taken. I thought it was marked. Great, I need to get down. Okay. I thought we were going up. We we're going down. Alright, very well. That's fine. Probably some more exploring and upgrades I could grab at this point. Like, I remember there was a couple block chambers up at the very top there, but I think we'll come back and do that once we've got a few more upgrades. But, like, if I were really trying to optimize every possible upgrade I could have going into this fight, I could probably go back and clear that out. I should be fine. Correctly, the most difficult thing about Kraid is finding my way through to him. The fight itself shouldn't be too hard. Actually, hold up. I think I can get an upgrade here. Yes, I should be able to get that. Get up there. Get up there. There we go. One energy tank. And now, with the bombs, we can get down into here. Loop around this way, and... Elevator down to Kraid. Take a save room. Pop this missile door open. Jump into a pit of acid. Fight some terrifying hopper enemies. God. Oh, I don't like any of this. I think the Taco Bell has arrived. 
Can I not get up there yet? I thought you could get up there by bombing that. Oh no, that's the reverse block, so I need to go down, not up. There we go. Ta-da! And up this way. I don't remember what is where here. Let's be a little careful. Pull up on health. Hmm. I don't like any of this. Slight dip in some acid. Can't activate that. Alright. Oh, I don't like this at all. There's some hidden stuff in the ceiling above me here. I see it. There we go. Alright. What's through the missile door? Is this how I activate all of these? Yes, there we go. Good, 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 good. Now we can shoot that to get this over. Free energy tank. Take a save. I probably head back at this point. Yes. I don't actually want to go that way. Ow. There we go. Oh, never mind. I guess I do want to head that way, because apparently this is locked. That's good. So then, this will take me into this hallway, which I haven't been into yet. I never trust single room hallways like that. There's usually a hidden entrance either on the floor or the ceiling. This is definitely a boss fight. Yes. Ow. Wait for it to little do its little wiggle, then jump out. And wiggle, jump. It's gonna roar, bring the lava up, we just walk up top for a second, and then right back down, wiggle. Oh, we screwed that up. Lava up. Okay, um, that was an unconventional way to dodge that, but it worked. No. Nope. For a second there, I thought I might have killed it, but no, not quite. Okay, there we go, now he's dead. This definitely leads me down into something, correct? Yes. I can get back out. So if I decide this isn't worth my time, I can still leave. Aha! Okay. Nothing that way. So get out of the get out of the acid. Is that really everything? Hmm. 
Oh, was the whole point of that just to lower the acid? That might have been the whole point of that. Alright, let's just head on out of here. Uh-oh. How does one head out of here? Because it doesn't appear to be that way. Oh, you know what? It's this way. You just gotta jump into this thing, shoot yourself back up to the top of the room, and then go across to the right. On to here, on to here. And back on down. Cut across this. that out of the way, we should be... Well, this is a problem. Done with that ranch, and we can head on down here? Maybe? Yes? Perfect. And fire across there. Into this area. I remember this very faintly. It's usually that's a good sign in Metroid games. The less well I remember an area, the easier it was. I think this might be Wave Beam. Or it might be very nearby to Wave Beam, at the very least. This is fake. You drop down this. See, there's even further down I can go. Before I go any further down, let's figure out what's going on up here. A lot of weird enemies. I need to get grabbed as a morph ball. I remember this. Speed blocks. Okay, that's a problem. Can't do anything with speed blocks yet. Could be a dead end. It's a one-way path coming from the other direction. Gotcha. Okay, so we're gonna head down to the hole in the floor. Also, I'll perhaps spare help from these guys because I was just taking random damage for no reason there by walking into them. Uh, we'll just pop on down through the hole in the floor. Where are we? Yeah, we're getting pretty close to where Crate hangs out. I don't know why, but I feel like three missile tanks was about where I was, or three energy tanks was about where I was at the last time I fought in Crate, so I think we'll be fine. Actually, admittedly, the last time I fought Crate was Super Metroid and I had one energy tank. Hmm. 
Well, that's not the way in. Ah! Right there. Unknown item. Well, that doesn't help. Stop giving me unknown items, I don't know what they do. Up into the ceiling, and okay, so this lets me get through here. Hopefully I can get around to the back of that area where I just saw the... Oh, lord. All these enemies are quite annoying. We're directly above Crate's room. So if I can find a way down at all here, I should take it. Yeah, like this. Perfect. It really only takes one missile for those in this game. Interesting. Well, first boss fight. And if you've been watching the Metroid Dread trailers, you might recognize them. It actually looks quite a bit like the, uh, the Metroid Dread version in this. Well, the Metroid Dread version looks quite a bit like this. Oh my god, come on. There we go. All right. Whoa. One down, one to go. And what is it here? Is it speed boost, I think? Yes. Now I can do Shine Sparks, which is the most obnoxious puzzle mechanic in the entire series. <laughs> Wait a minute. Was I supposed to have... Oh, no, okay. I can speed boost my way through that. Gotcha, gotcha, I see. I was like, was I supposed to have high jump? Because I don't. <laughs> we. Hmm. How does one get out of here? Ah, like that. Very confused right now. Oh, it wants me. I see. Just run straight through that. Gotcha, gotcha. So we need to go through here, pop that open, 
destroy these. That should hopefully be far enough back, right? Yes. Oh, I missed it by one block. That's so annoying. Okay, so it's the third block in. So yeah, you can basically run till you start flashing. If you press down without letting go of your forward momentum, uh, you'll start, you'll kind of store the charge. So you can see me going here, press down, store the charge, and then you have a second or two to jump, and you will just hurl yourself an unlimited distance in that direction, breaking through any of the blocks that have the little speed boost icon on them. Uh, you can also, a split second after you jump, press a direction and you'll go in that direction instead, so you can go left, right, or I, some games diagonals, I'm not sure if this one is one of them. Uh, you can also drop into a morph ball while you're in the little stored state and then uh, shoot yourself off as a morph ball to get through thin areas. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Oh god, 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 oh god. That was really bad. And up here... So the great kill. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really need to do down here. Or if I can just leave. Like, there's probably some items I can pick up, because I'm sure I didn't get everything, but... Do I care? Is the question. I'm starting to think the answer is no. Okay, this is easy enough to get back up from. Let's take a little look around and just see what we've got as far as items go. So, bounce up there, get you across that. Anything worth my time up here. This is just another dead end. Oh, I see. I could loop around to it from that side. Maybe we'll do that. Is this a crumble block or a bomb? This is... Oh, I literally can't get down from this side. Good lord, this is the most obnoxious room to navigate around. It was a one way from the other way last time, and now it's a one way from this way. Okay. We'll just detour around here. Ah, a map room. Well, this is good on the way out. <laughs> yes, game, I've, I've kind of figured out the map at this point. I'm thinking the game may have expected me to come this way first. Oh, that's obnoxious. Okay, can we get into that? Aha! I see. I see how they want me to do that. So we gotta go over here, over here, over here, drop this, drop this, drop this, drop that. Okay, wait, can I just jump to get it to release me? 
If I can just jump, that'll be really easy. Probably not. Oh, actually, wait. I don't know if I can do this yet. I don't have spring ball. So let's try that. Oh, no, you can jump. All right. Just got to time it right. So, boom, boom. That was a bomb, not a jump. Eighth time's the charm. There we go. Anything else I want to go poke around for down here? Nah. Good enough for me. Let's head on out. Oh, apparently I never went through this door. What's in here? An energy tank. Wow, that's pretty darn good. Hmm. It's an energy tank that we're... Oh, I've made poor choices. Oh, I've made terrible choices. Well, that worked. Wasn't perfect, but good enough to get me an energy tank. And uh, let's not jump through acid on the way back. There we go. So I could have had a fourth energy tank on the way to create. Oh no, actually I couldn't have because I needed the speed boost for that. Okay, so you need to get that one on the way out. That's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop a save on the way out. Where I need to head to next? Is it through Norfair to get to Ridley? Or do I need to loop back around through the like upper Brinstar? Speaking of Ridley, hello. on my map. I'm assuming it's just going to tell me to go to Norfair. Yeah, and that's going to tell me to go south in Norfair. Right, right. Which I can't really do according to the map, but now that I've got speed boosts, you can break some blocks open that'll let you get deeper in. Easy peasy. Which way is it up? Oh, this is a ways over. And that said, I might actually take a break here and get something to eat. And we'll just do some shorter parts on this, because these games are quite short. I think this one is... Except it took me about two and a half hours to beat it the last time I played it. I didn't have a guide, or hadn't played it in about... I don't know, ten years? So, not exactly a terribly long game. I'm about a third of the way through right now. <laughs> Actually, probably a little farther than a third, because that last third isn't really a full third. But yeah, we'll go ahead and just save right there. I'll take a short break. Might be back later tonight, or might be back a different night to finish up some more, but I'm going to grab some food while I wait. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time.